This section of tropical forest on Indonesia's Sumatra Island is considered degraded following years of selective logging and encroachment. In 2013, a unique multi-year program was launched by April Group to protect and restore this area, supported by experts from RER's partners, Flora and Fauna International and social NGO Bidara. RER, or Riau Ecosystem Restoration, operates under an eco-restoration license from the Indonesian government, aiming to restore 150,000 hectares of ecologically important tropical peatland. Today, wildlife is reappearing as the long process of recovery and restoration begins. Preserving and restoring this ecosystem is a multi-decade effort. A collaborative model of protection, assessment, restoration and ongoing management is used in a holistic landscape approach to conservation. NGO Flora and Fauna International, FFI, works to conserve threatened species and ecosystems worldwide. One of their roles here is the wildlife survey. Camera traps are used to document the species that call this forest home. I think what excites me is the fact that we're discovering things. The biodiversity of the peninsula wasn't known. Uh, we suspected what might be there, but we're finding that tigers are there, that fishing cats, which are very rare species, are there. Uh, we've discovered a new species of snake. Um, it's a discovery at the moment, and that's always exciting. Communities around the eco-restoration area are important stakeholders to the conservation efforts. RER engages villages from nearby communities as park rangers, protecting and restoring the forest. In satellite nurseries near the ranger stations, seedlings collected from the wild are cultivated for replanting. In Kampar Peninsula, we've built a ring fence plantation around the conservation to act as buffer zone. So by protecting the plantation, the conservation is also protected. RER's broader vision involves the protection of larger sections of the Kampar Peninsula core. Working with multiple stakeholders, this would expand the protected forest to an area about the size of Singapore. To achieve this, a landscape conservation approach is being used one that looks not solely at environmental issues, but also the requirements of the local community, and incorporates these factors into a holistic conservation effort.